Hello, Zero K fans. Welcome to Nano Lizard Dawn. I'm your host, Dominic, or Chatty Fury, whichever you prefer. And we have another set of exhibition matches today for you guys. It's going to be starting off with Pet Turtle and Jasper on Adansonio. Jasper, go oops. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to have to. Ah. Sorry about that. I was trying to make sure it started, and yeah, sometimes. So the thing about Zero K replays is that sometimes you start the game, and there's a little thing in the replay display that I never keep up because I figure it's distracting, that allows you to skip the pregame. And sometimes it doesn't work until you've gone fast forward to the replay a little bit. And yeah, I forgot to set it back. My bad. Anyway, so yeah, Jasper going for Anthbots and Hovers are Pet Turtle's factory of choice. Pet Turtle very quickly also setting up a bunch of title generators in the little fjord. So that is going to be a bit vulnerable should Jasper decide to actually go in with the Anthbots, you know, attack directly. But I kind of doubt it. I think... We're looking right now, Jasper's going into scallops. They're clearly setting up for more of a frontal push. Possibly more of a just defensive push, like setting up, trying to get this metal extractor set up here, making sure to maintain some of the main base. While at the same time, Pet Turtle is immediately expanding over to the south expansion, or south natural in their top plateau. Immediately expanding to the natural expansion over to the east side of their plateau. And basically just leaving Jasper in the dust, economically speaking. Not to mention, Pet Turtle also double checking to make sure nothing is built in Jasper's Fjord, which at this point it isn't. Pet Turtle is the only one who's vulnerable to the Fjord, and the one downside of this setup is that these... This 9.6 energy cannot easily be pulled over to the Metal Extractors without using pylons. So, that's going to be a bit of a mid-game thing for Pet Turtle. You know, see them set up some pylons, get all that nice, sweet overdrive income. But that being said, Pet Turtle actually, even with that, is still kind of behind it. Well, okay, they're way ahead in metal, needing to build more needing to build more energy, so they should be probably getting some solar plants. I mean, we already have some queued. Same time, though, Jasper is at least expanding pretty solidly. I mean, any attempts at raiding that come in from Pet Turtle are being pretty handily rebuffed. So I can't say that it's entirely a bad way of approaching it for Jasper. Just, like I said, a little bit slow. Like this this is not how I generally recommend expanding. I mean, you got about five-ish metal extractors fewer than your opponent, and it's going up. Like, Pet Turtle at this point is 10 metal per second on Jasper. 12 metal per second on Jasper. Jasper being very cautious about possible raiding, getting the Stardusts in, which at a time I think is actually a little bit early for Stardusts. I understand the logic, because Stardusts are going to be able to get rid of the daggers without issue. Lotuses, you might not think they are able to, but Stardusts are also 220 metal. Whereas Lotuses are, like, they are 90. And Pickets are 100. So, it's, you're spending a lot of extra metal. That's basically two and a half Lotuses just to get that Stardust up. And if that sounds ridiculous, it kind of is. Two and a half Lotuses would be a lot to build up before building up any metal extractors. Especially when your opponent has decided they don't really care. I have one Lotus here and there just to make sure that stuff doesn't get completely destroyed from a backdoor assault, but they're not too worried. At this point, Jasper has no real reason to be either. They're ahead by 12 metal per second, very solidly ahead. The only thing that really is giving Jasper any hope right now is the fact that Pet Turtle is so behind in energy, they are excessing. Like, Jasper at this point, they haven't quite gotten enough to completely use all the metal they're getting, but they do have enough to pretty effectively use most of it. Basically, they they can get this one factory here. I have a couple extra conches. That's 7.5 metal each. So they do have enough build power in their main base to use all their metal. And they have enough energy to use their metal. While Pet Turtle does not. They have the build power, but they lack the energy. So unless Pet Turtle decides to just go for a mass reclaim, I don't expect we're going to be seeing a mass a major fix to Pet Turtle's energy situation. And Jasper will be able to produce on par with Pet Turtle for the time being. That's always the biggest thing. If you can, If your opponent has the ability to build as much as you do, even if they have less metal, just because of your energy situation or build power situation, they're going to be in a fine spot. That being said, Jasper is not especially well prepared here. I mean, Scalpel's coming in, perfect counter for every bit of riot force that's been set up. I mean, the Stardust, the Scallops, everything's done. Granted, the Stardust surprisingly managed to get... How did the Stardust... That should not have happened. The range in this, 440... Oh, actually, maybe. Maybe. That actually kind of makes sense. I think Stardusts are 400 and... 20 or something? 4 and 10. Okay, so the Scalpels had no reason to actually get hit by the Stardust, but apparently not being as careful as they could have been. So at this point, wow, well done, Jasper. Stardust surprisingly able to get rid of Pet Turtle's forces, but hey, it works. Getting the boy as well as to finish off those last couple Scalpels, and that 
will be a solid defense. Unfortunately, though, Pet Turtle has gone their energy situation fixed up. They are getting a bunch of caretakers up, so at this point, the timing Jasper had in order to actually get back on track as far as production, that time is on. That is over. Jasper is going to have to worry about the fact that Pet Turtle has a metal advantage. And the only thing is that Jasper does have the potential to reclaim quite a lot. So, so long as Jasper doesn't need power infrastructure to actually deal with the reclaim, Jasper will be fine. I mean, we are... or would have been fine. Ooh, or not. Why are there no caretakers in the main base, Jasper? Jasper! Jasper! You're accessing! No! Well, okay, that's... Okay, never mind. I actually do have one conch going back, building up some caretakers. That's a little bit late, but... I mean, it'll at least help. I mean, it's just... Well, I'm just thinking the advantage that Jasper had there, or not advantage, rather, the thing that was keeping Jasper even has kind of been mooted, so at this point, I'm not sure Jasper's going to be able to hold on. Pet Turtle just has half the map at this point, pretty solidly. Jasper is trying to maintain that amount of territory, doesn't have quite the same amount of metal, and mainly the thing is that Jasper, they're building up to a Grizzly. They have this one endgame unit they want to build up. On the other hand, Pet Turtle, they're getting a Lance, but Hovercraft doesn't really have an endgame unit. The Lance is a really strong artillery piece, but it isn't just this Demi Strider in the way that Grizzly is. It isn't just something you can just power through, push through into the base and assault with. As soon as the Lance gets breathed on, it falls over. So that's the thing to be careful about, and that's something which I do expect to be a bit of a problem, especially as Pet Turtle, they've been investing quite a lot into that Lance and not as much into the rest of their forces, especially seeing as the boys are basically able to completely counter the mace. Boy Scallop, a mix I've never really seen, but I do like it. Like, the boy slowing everything down, allowing the scalp to get in and actually wreck face. That is neat. That is a really cool thing I'd like to see more of going forward, but I'm sure there's some reason I haven't thought about it. I don't play... I, we don't see Amp very much. I don't play Amp very much. Amp is usually associated just with Grizzly and Archer, although admittedly, Ducks have been buffed, so maybe them too. But yeah, using scallops like that isn't something that comes up very often, but I do like it. I see the logic to it. I'm not sure it's the most cost-effective solution, but... It makes sense. Anyway, the Raven's coming in here, and there they go, getting rid of those maces. That is and another army completely destroyed, but at the same time, two metal extractors that Jasper's lost, and Pet Turtle remains 10 metal per second ahead with a bunch of scalps coming in here. Sorry, scalpels coming in here to finish the job. So at this point, the front lines for Jasper aren't really in that grave a situation. The Phoenix coming in here should be at least able to deal some damage, but it's not gonna kill. It's not gonna put any real dent in this. Ravens are going to be able to come in and possibly deal with some of it, and indeed, they do. Two of the scalpels do go down, but again, the remaining scalpels still able to get rid of the metal extractor, and that's the main thing. This base is done. There is no control Jasper has over the center of the map. Pet Turtle can just expand all the way through here, get the reclaim they want, and not have to worry about anything. I mean, the commander is right here. They got reclaim right next to them. It's all set up. There's no reason to really worry about it. I mean, we have that last shot coming in, but it's too little too late. Jasper is... I, they, they're in a situation where they could theoretically build up to this metal extractor, get 45 metal per second. Actually, you know, if they got the metal extractor, they'd be in a reasonably good spot. These things would actually go and start building up. That would that'd be a start for sure. But yeah, I okay, well, whatever. Come on, caretakers, you have a job to do. There we go. Do your job. Cool. All right. Anyway, so with that. It appears to at least have that set up. And actually, you know, okay, so people are asking in the chat. No, this is actually 137, so 1734. This is the version where commanders had plus six, plus eight individually, rather than having plus two, plus two global, and plus four, plus six for each commander. So this is actually in a position where commander kills are a big deal. Or a bigger deal. Basically, you can shut down your opponent's entire economy by killing the commander. There's no global medal in this in this particular match. But, like, this match and the next match are going to be played in 1734. The final match for today will be played in the most recent version, which does have the Calm Super Max Patch. Or, I guess the Calm Super Max Patch, the one that's... Actually, actually, Wes, I'm not sure what you mean by Calm Super Max Patch, but basically, plus six, plus eight medal for commanders. Hope that answers your question. I'm not really sure which patch you mean. Anyway, back to Jasper, though. Getting an air pad up, since they're very clearly switching over to complete air. And it doesn't look like Pet Turtle has really done a whole lot to deal with that. I mean, we see a couple of hacksaws, but no razors, no chainsaws, just hacksaws all over the place. Really relying on the use of hacksaws to get rid of these ravens. And I'm kind of curious. Is it going to work? Also the swifts. I'm much less curious that will work. Or should work. 
Force Whistle not actually really doing the job. Not at all. It, it is mostly just holding some of Pet Turtle's forces and expansion back, but the main thing about the Ravens is that they are a defensive force. They're basically stopping any of these Masons from coming in and dealing with them. Granted, the Swifts are being... I was going to say, the Swifts, the Swifts from Pet Turtle are being a bit of a pain there, but no, Jasper's gotten on that. The, Jasper is completely on point when it comes to setting up that Air Force. They're good. Also, why are you guys... What are you guys landing for? Yes, yeah, so the main thing here is that basically this force here from Pet Turtle can't really do much. It's stuck. It is pretty much grounded, just waiting for these Ravens to get to get gotten rid of. And I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, the Hacksaws are in place. They could help with this if the Ravens decide to go in, but it looks like the Ravens are instead. No, they're going around the Hacksaws completely, going into the backyard, getting rid of the Geo Plant, or at least targeting the Geo Plant. Should be able to get rid of it. There's not much in the way. Then get rid of the Geo Plant, get rid of a few of the defensive structures in the backyard. Then. I, oh, this Grizzly should be able to get in, but there's not a whole lot of ground forces coming in for Jasper. That's the one downside here. Geoplant will go down, but it was not an advanced Geoplant. I think that's what Jasper was thinking, considering how many Ravens came in. So they were expecting a stronger plant than they got. At this point, the Ravens... Wait, really? Just on the... Yeah, they're on the water. Okay, cool. I did not expect that, but there you go. Apparently, Ravens just rest on the water. Are, like, seriously, this is... Okay, I don't know. Normally, units will fly when they're idle. I guess some of them just set to fly state land, which is not a bad idea. I think I think Swiss can still hit units on the ground, though. Like, I don't think it solves all the problems. I think it just makes it a little bit, maybe a little bit harder to hit. I Swifts, to my knowledge, do hit ground units. Oh, okay, all right, no, 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 okay, so yeah, Wesley, thank you for clarifying. Yes, no, this is not the, the Calm Super Max Batch. This is plus six metal, not plus eight metal. No, I think the Calm Super Max was like one, three, one, seven, three, two, I think is when they switched. I think it's actually when they switched back to plus six. Or switched down to plus six. Because for those not familiar, the most recent set of patches, Commander Income was changed from plus four metal, plus six energy, to plus eight both, and then metal was dropped to plus six. And then the very, very, very most recent patch, the total starting metal is still plus six with energy plus eight, but two of each is just a universal global thing that the opponent can't touch. And the other four metal and six energy is on the commander. So yeah, bit complicated there, but there have been changes to the economic system for the too long didn't read. And what the heck are you building two spider factories for? Okay, is it? plan to build multiple spider factories and have a bunch of fleas set up, or what? I'm, I'm really confused. Well, at any rate. Lance is coming in here with Iris. There we go. As we've seen a lot recently, Iris's have been pretty much the unit of choice just for how well they can deal with basically any force, since you just walk the force in cloaked. At this point, though, Jasper has seen the force coming in. They do know, relatively speaking, where to have to deal with it. The very least can drop some bombs. Oh, get the reaction. Get the drops in. No, it's completely pointless. Nothing's going to happen at all. All the bombs do nothing. That flail missile probably did more to the units than any of the ravens did. Bunch of fleas are coming in to try to help deal with this, though. Just, you know, come in, decloak everything. Should help, maybe? I mean, it's a little bit tricky. The, the fleas will at least help be able to get rid of some of the lances if they can get through the maces, but that's the main problem. They can't get through the maces. The grizzly just gone down. That is going to be it. There are still... There's still the Spider Factory being built up. There's still the Strider Hub being built up. I mean, it's going to be really tough to actually set anything up besides what already has been set up just for how all this has been going. So honestly, I don't know how any of this is going to pan out other than Pet, Pet Turtle just taking this. Because Jasper, they have very little money. They have very little in the way of defenses. They lost all of their Ravens. So it was like a dozen Ravens. All of them lost to those Flails. Basically, that was it. I just, I just don't know. Like I said, I did like the boy scalp thing early on, but it just wasn't used. Ever seen the combination now? Again, it just, like the switch over to Grizzly, I think was a little bit too soon. I think Grizzly on top of the Ravens. I mean, the Ravens weren't a bad idea, but the fact that it was all Ravens, there was no ground force to follow it up, and no consideration of the fact that your opponent is going heavy on mazes and has been the entire game. Yeah, more boys would have made sense. Oh well. That is likely to be that. Looks like Jasper is going to be able to take it. Getting rid of the commander. Sorry, Petrol is going to be able to take it. Commander is gotten rid of, still. 
Swift's trying their best to deal with this stuff, but it looks like it's not going to really pan out that well. So at this point, yep, Jasper just really hasn't got much to work with. I, I gotta be honest though, the amount of times people use Iris, I'm a little surprised we don't see more use of like, fire artillery. Like, I don't know if you're gonna fax switch, fax switch and a firewalker, or fax switch, or if we have air, get a few phoenixes and just send them around. If you can see kind of where your opponent is set up. Because at the very least, the fire will decloak the forces and mean that your static defenses don't fall. Because usually, the way the irises work, kind of the point of the iris really, is that you come in with the iris with a bunch of units, and you get right up close to a set of defenses that your opponent is trying to make use of, and then you just hit them. The defense goes down before, or the defense starts to the turret, whatever, goes down before it can even fire back just because of how close all the units are. They can all fire at once, and that's it. So, given that, I just don't see it. But yeah, overall, I'd say Jasper just really didn't build up enough. Just the fact that Jasper had basically been behind 10 metal per second this entire game. There was a period, like I said, where Pet Turtle's energy economy meant they weren't quite able to build up as much as Jasper. So Jasper was able to stay ahead, or at least stay in the game. But beyond that, it was not really there. It was pretty much not an option. Jasper... Jasper had very little to work with. And that's the thing with this game, is that you you do have to have enough resources to work with. You can't rely on your opponent being e-stalled in order to be able to maintain a production parity as Jasper was able to do. And if that does happen, I mean, you're not really likely to realize it anyway. By the way, if it does happen and you do realize it, then yeah, it's a good time to see what you can do to raid out, because your opponent's not going to have anyone near as much to defend as you will. And they're probably not going to attack in that respect. I mean, they might attack, but yeah, they're probably not going to bother. They're probably going to try to build up. They're probably going to be worried about rebuilding their energy economy. And at that point, heck, if you can take out their energy economy even further, that's huge. But anyway, any rate, Jasper, are you seriously not? Oh, okay. Strange time to have massive lag, but there you go. Jasper throws in the towel, and that is the game, but yeah, lag or no, it really just came down to the fact that metal income was never really quite on par. Army value, surprisingly, was. Like I said, Jasper was able to maintain production because the energy income was higher, but metal income was really the kicker. Ultimately, that made all the difference. Actually, what was the excess? Yeah, as you can see here, there's a bunch of excess going for Pet Turtle right around here, which is roughly where the... Which is roughly where everything remained at parity. And then after that, yeah, they were fine. Jasper only really accessed at the very, very, very end. So I don't really care about that. But yeah, that's kind of what it came down to. Just not having enough money. And lag probably didn't help either. Anyway, that was that. So we're going to have another... Oh, crap. I can't... Okay, we're going to have... Another game, I can't even check what it is because, unfortunately, since this is on an older version using an older engine, it decides it should take over the entire rendering context if it's up. Seriously, why is this not properly wordless? Whatever. So, yeah, that's going to be that. We'll be back with another match. I can't tell which one it'll be in a sec. I'll have to just put it up when I see what it is. Anyway, we'll be back with that, with the next match, whatever it is, in a couple minutes, so stay tuned.